No, we'll be easy, baby. Be easy. Lay down. Uh, I can't. I look, you see me. I'm not antagonizing at all. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay. All right. Are we done trying to wrestle? So, a few days ago, it was halfway to Halloween. Ah! So, what better of a time to watch Howling 2, Your Sister is a Werewolf by John Tron. I think I watched it like two years ago. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Well, also, <laughs> whenever it came out, probably would have been a better time, but I have yet to see it. Well, I, as you may recall from previous ventures into movies with John Tron... Mm-hmm. If he's talking about it, odds are it is not, not a masterpiece. Good. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. And I could be wrong. Maybe it's not even like a Halloweeny film, but when I think Halloween-y. of we- Halloween. Yeah. Whenever I think of werewolves, I think of Halloween. Yeah. I mean, werewolves are monsters, so it makes sense. But monsters, a lot of times, you know don't really give a shit when it is there's very few that have specific times like well werewolves you know halloween it's like every friday the 13th i mean like specific dates of the year i'm sorry does have specific dates a werewolf a werewolf does the full moon i know that's what i'm saying like (laughs) specific to a calendar you know what i'm saying like i mean you could put it anyway you know what i'm talking about there ain't no fucking holiday for werewolves right if I recall correctly, I was shocked by how this could have been a good movie, but it wasn't. Like, werewolves, they get a bad break. They've had some pretty shit movies. I'm trying to think of that one movie. The only movie that comes to mind when I think of werewolves. Underworld? No, but Twilight? Yes. Okay, no. No, the, there's a Teen scene, Wolf. I think it's maybe Michael the, J. Fox. Yeah. Yeah. The scene dude. when he's in the bathroom and he's like, "What's going on?" And his parents are like, "Oh no!" And he's like, "What the fuck? You knew the whole time?" So yeah. I love Teen Wolf. That was not one of the shitty wolf movies. Like yeah. werewolves. There's like a lot of really shitty horror films about vampires and whatever. But it's not like there's that many about werewolves. So it really right. matters when there is a werewolf not movie. Not specifically just werewolves. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to watch this. Because as I've said many times when I do reactions with Nate and <laughs> Shorty. Trying to give his input on he, werewolves. No, he's Shorty enjoying that head scratch. He just went, oh. <laughs> Don't talk about werewolves in this house. Yeah. I'm the only dog here. But uh, it was it was really really funny, um, as many of his are. But there were there was a specific individual involved in this movie that really shocked me. I can't remember much else. Uh, so as I watch these, even though I've seen some of them in the past, it's like I really suck with my memories. It shit will get triggered along the way whenever I am watching it. But yeah. yeah. I mean that uh, happens so, for everyone. I'm excited to to see uh what all's on this one. <laughs> Shorty is really feeling himself right now. I think he's wanting to wrestle with me again. Okay. Anyway. Let's get to it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah, because, oh, this is a Halloween yeah. episode. cool. Okay. Very cool. Werebird. Werebird. That would Imagine, be crazy. if you will, a reality in which a population was so mediocre, they produced more bad films than good ones. <laughs> a reality too ghastly to imagine? Well, open your eyes. Because you're in that world. That world is the real one you inhabit, and it's that's the one you're in. <laughs> a chilly fall day. Just like this one. It reminds me. It 
Reminds me of... So we meet again! I shouldn't have left that on while I was gone. All right. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> Thank God. It's just a clown. <laughs> oh. Oh no, the Crypt Keeper. Scares ah. you. This Halloween, we're gonna do something real scary. We're gonna watch Howling 2, your sister is a werewolf. Done! <gasps> How could you say that about me? Whatever! You go through puberty! It's normal! This film is also known by its original name. Howling 2, Sturba, Werewolf Bitch. Which, if I'm being honest, it's got a pretty good ring to it. I don't know why they changed that. <laughs> this film, almost as if divinely, appeared on our planet in the year 1985. Starring legendary actor Christopher Lee, may he rest in peace, it was poised for worldwide success and acclaim. Or was Saruman. it? While Lee was portrayed in a number of memorable roles such as Saruman the White and the rhymes yeah. with Poo Poo, Count Dooku from the worst Star Wars movie, there were also some roles he may have preferred stayed six feet under. Sealed away, <laughs> deep in a mausoleum to be forgotten by man and lost to time. But alas, we have the internet and well, they, they pretty much got everything on there so it's pretty hard to hide stuff. I'm warning you, wear a helmet, this one's gonna be rough. Oh no. The inhabitants of the Earth have been made drunk with her blood. Hey there, Mr. Lee, can I call you Chris? Did you even know you were being filmed here? Is that how they got you to be in this movie? They just didn't tell you it was a movie? And she held forth. Mr. Lee, look out! There's a skeleton behind you. <laughs> and there it is! Howling 2, your sister's a werewolf. I have a feeling I'm gonna be maybe howling in a few minutes over here. The film starts off at the funeral of a woman who was recently killed. The guy at the altar goes on about how everything sucks for a few minutes, really getting everyone into the spirit of things. The death of anyone is a sad occasion. Even Hitler? Nothing we can say or do can bring Karen back. Oh no. Shortly thereafter, the director points the camera and microphone in the wrong direction, as Christopher Lee and another man whisper to each other about dead sisters in the distance. Is our immortal soul. Huh? What? But I didn't catch that. Call me. Why don't you just get the hell out of here? So Christopher Lee's character, named Stefan, is a paranormal investigator who tells the brother of the woman who died that he needs to give him a call at his earliest convenience. Stefan Crossco, a cult investigator. I can't that's him. Meanwhile, like, Stefan's the talk of the town. That. As the townsfolk Lee, can't dude. help but become horny and bothered at the mere sight of him. <laughs> Stefan. Let's go. Yeah, that's normal. Mr. Crossco. Miss Templeton. How do you know my name? I've seen you on television. What do you know about the death of Karen White? I know that she is a werewolf. Oh! Okay! In that case, you think <laughs> you could elaborate? Thing. Mr. Crosco. Yeah, never mind. No need to explain further. Got you. She's a werewolf. Got it. It's all good. Jenny, what did he say? He said your sister is a werewolf. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> the, uh... the Howling 2 was filmed in front of a live studio audience. Really? That's it? Uh, bullshit. No, no further comment? <laughs> Wait, what? Where are we now? What a jump cut that was. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah. Pussy boy over here still got in his old age. I gotta I got to give props where it's due. Hell yeah. So then yeah. all of a sudden focus switches to some characters that sound like a couple of Australians that got concussions. A couple of drinks for me and my friends here. No thanks. Uh, can't you see that she's a lady? Don't want to drink with no riffraff? Gonna say that better myself. Party time, ow! Gonna say that better myself. <laughs> After this exchange, the local thuggery ride off into an apocalyptic wasteland and out to a warehouse to get jiggy with it. But little do they know, in reality, she's having a really bad cramp in her leg. <laughs> So you want to play, huh? We like to play too, don't we, uh -oh. Deacon? Yeah, rough play. <laughs> <laughs> ah! What the fuck's 
going on? <laughs> wow, looks like he doesn't even have the correct amount of brain cells to process the pain in time. Damn. Yeah, that actually just hurt for fucking real. I forgot whatever joke it is I had planned for that. <laughs> Let's move on, everyone. You made Deacon mad, and he gets real nasty when he's mad. <laughs> I didn't think that that... What? This can't be real, right? <laughs> this movie is not a comedy, and yet the timing is impeccable. The great John Candy would have been in awe if he could see this today. Jesus Christ. I know Christ. you're there, my little beauty. And I've Plans got for you. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's threatening, all right. Hey, come on, ah, it's just a couple of us guys, just a couple of guys right here. <laughs> Forgot hey, about this Nothing strange going on. I just want to talk to you. <laughs> So, of course, Fuck. this woman was actually a werewolf, and she yeah. was luring these people to her lair to get eaten. Good. Let's get out of here. You wouldn't have time to be like, let's get out of here. You just fucking run. Yeah. Oh, my God. Back at wherever the fuck they are, the two people from the funeral earlier decide to go to Stefan's house and hear him out after all. Meanwhile, in this scene, a sexual predator watches exposition from a distance. There are a couple things I know about your sister. Oh, yeah. No, Tell no. me more backstory, no, baby. Why don't you just go back to your sheriff's office? <laughs> Montana and do your job and let me get on with mine. Well, this isn't even good exposition. I can't jack my big old dick off to this. Something us country boys know. <gasps> Whoa, dude, why are you bringing this from a zero to a ten? Put that thing away. Then when the farmers start knocking off the chickens, <laughs> we start knocking off the farmers. So they meet with Stefan in his mansion what? full of weird shit. Please sit down. I trust you'd like to see my robust collection of deformed bonobo heads? We don't have very much time, so I will get to the point immediately. This type of bullet killed your sister. Impossible! How could a simple bullet kill a perfectly healthy woman? You notice anything about them? They're silver. You know what that means? They're silver? This type of bullet, Mr. White, means your sister is a werewolf. Oh, God! Uh, oh, d God. Does it, though? For, for sure? Y you sure about that? It means that? Your sister was working on a story about one such group. You telling me my sister arranged her own murder? Yes. Oh, okay. This is a videotape of Karen White's last news broadcast. <gasps> oh God, that's the oh, that's the <laughs> heavens me. This is so embarrassing. Hold on, this is a good one. <laughs> The tape that Stefan shows them depicts this man's sister being murdered live on broadcast oh as she God. turns into a werewolf. It's a fake. It's not my sister. Ben, I wow. recognize those people. Proof! Stefan also explains that the werewolves have a leader named Sturba, and that it is his mission in life to destroy her once and for all. Sturba must be destroyed, and I will do it. And I think at this point, uh, Christopher Lee just kind of starts to improv his lines, or at least, you know, realize the magnitude of his regret on screen. Either way, it's beautiful. Evolution is reversed. How can you listen to this bull? I resent such words. <laughs> Take those bullets, and God be with you. Thank you. Right. Do you think Stefan's going to the cemetery tonight to set traps? By the way, how much that glue from earlier where I squirted into my nose do you think got in my brain? <laughs> Forgot about the stake. Forgot about what now? Drive a stake through a werewolf's heart. <laughs> Wait, drive a stake through a werewolf's heart? Unless we're talking about filet mignon. I think you might be mixing up vampires and werewolves. Yeah. yeah. Son of a bitch was talking about my sister. About sticking a stake in my dead sister. Yeah, I mean, I gotta give it to you. This is pretty weird. Not really a normal thing to go around be doing. I'm gonna kill this son of a bitch. Well, that's a bit, uh, maybe that's a bit far. So Ben storms off, determined to kill Stefan before he can desecrate his sister. And Christopher Lee stands on a freeway overpass in Los Angeles for some fucking reason. Are you sure this is the way to the crypt? Yeah. What the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the way to the crypt, all right. <laughs> I'm behind you! Get in! What the hell are you doing? Well, nothing. I was just talking to your sister's dead body. With the conclusion of this event, Ben and Jenny now see that the tale of the werewolves is all true. So they shoot bullets at a nearby janitor with facial deformities for fun. 
poor guy, I mean, he wasn't a werewolf, he just born with a big old cleft face. After feeling bad for the wretched soul, they kindly drape him in a net for warmth and force him to reveal the location of Sturba, queen of the werewolves, before kindly stabbing him in the heart with a blade, again, for warmth. Guy was cold, come on, what are you gonna do, leave him there? I must leave you now. <laughs> Where are you going? I don't know, I was thinking of hitting up the nightclub again. I can't <laughs> unsay that. My sister. Never happens to anybody else again. When do we leave? Where do we have to go to find Sturba? Of course! Bell Skeleton! I should have known that. To the dark country. You don't mean South Jersey. To Transylvania. Transylvania. What? Okay, once again, the vampire one. Not the werewolf one, okay? <laughs> Just pointing it out. So yes, off they go to Transylvania to fight the wow. werewolves. Boy, it hurts. I have to wonder if these weird Dracula references have something to do with the fact that Christopher Lee used to play Dracula back in the 50s. I bet they were very proud they snuck this in, just got it right past the masses. And then they have a ceremony for Grandma. <laughs> Damn, Granny! Save some of that ecto cooler for the rest of us! We're running out again! The new Ghostbusters movie didn't do that well. Oof. Ooh, damn, Nana, you're looking much younger. What kind of juice cleanse was that again? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? What? This woman was hit by a car. <laughs> there was like 12 people there. You, you, you good with that take? You don't want to you don't want to maybe God. try that line read one more time? Maybe. Was this even planned? Is this just some shit they filmed on the side of the road in Eastern <laughs> Europe? That's not an actor, is it? This really happened. It's just an old lady who really got hit by a car. She's going to die, isn't she? Oh, she's trying to say something. <laughs> uh, hello. Okay, you're just going to go. You're all done here. Going to walk God. away. Oh, Lady's shit. still down. Still got one down over here. <laughs> Oh, God, oh, that's shit. not medicine. Where the hell everybody go? They're here. They're not here. Yeah, I'm not really sure I'm following you on this one. And after you stabbed that lady who got hit by the car in the heart, I'm thinking maybe you don't have the best judgment. Stefan, please. Stefan, where are you going? Why are you leaving? Stefan, where are you going? Get on back here. Come on, get over here. I'm going to the village. I will see you there later. Shortly after going to a local poon house to get my taint licked. So now we arrive at the next setting of the film, what is supposedly a small <laughs> Eastern European town in Transylvania. A lovely room for the lady and gentleman. Room 666. This hotel doesn't look like it has six floors. I know. Funny, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it, I don't get it. What are you laughing about? I don't know what it's about. Shortly thereafter, Jenny brings out some vampire garlic to piss me off even further. And she won't stop talking like a baby. What? Seriously, what? everyone in this movie talks like an actual baby asking where their mom is. Where is Stefan? I don't know. I don't know what the hell we're doing here. I think the director felt similarly. I need you to hold me, Ben. Fucking Christ, that escalated fast. Oh, Ben. Thank you. I'm so scared. <laughs> I, know, I know how you feel. Oh, God, please stop. Oh, just make it stop. What is this, Godfather 3? You trying to dethrone the king and queen of the awkward makeout scene? Oh, no. Is that a midget beckoning? Well, you know shit's about to go down if a midget beckons. These men have sworn to fight Stilva. Basila lost his elder brother, his daughter. His wife. And Jesus? Last year he was crucified by werewolves. For the time being, I just want you to behave as ordinary tourists. Well, how do we keep in touch with each other? Constantine and Luca will set up a puppet booth in the square and you can communicate with me through them or through Father Florin. Instead of like all that though, could I just call your cell phone? So that night, Jenny decides to take a bath and unwind from all this chaos. Oh no. A creeping dolly shot, that can only mean one thing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god! It's a werewolf on a dolly! 
then this comes back. My God, it's, it's just not right. How do you think they felt on set, huh? Look at this guy, look at him. You think he was really into that? Secretly pretending he wasn't? He looks pretty into that. Tondo, keep an eye on Jenny. Yeah? I'm gonna go get her a gift, okay? Okay. At this point in the film, things are just getting more and more 80s as time goes on. I'm in fact yeah, not entirely 80s. sure they didn't just accidentally very... slip in some B-roll yeah. from a Madonna concert. Yeah. After Jenny is captured against her own will and Ben descends on Sturbus Castle, things begin to escalate. Glad you're here. Put them in your ears, sir, bless. What do you want to do about the sentry? Yes. Oh, penis knife. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Hey, damn, damn, dude. You got to get it. What's wrong? I know that's right. Uh, that one I can't can't get can't get as much behind that one. What in the goddamn hell's happening in this stupid movie? Good fucking lord! Then now Stefan is like following a weird little girl down an alleyway because she has some locket. Yeah, that's probably the best course of action. Like, has no one figured out that this set of circumstances usually leads to a murder? Still gonna follow her down the alley. Little laughing girl. All right, let's no. do it. Now don't be afraid. I just want to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't I have been Gandalf? <laughs> Teeny! Thank you for your input. That's all I needed. You all right? No. No, actually, I don't think I'm ever gonna unsee that. We must leave for the castle tonight. These are our weapons. What? Consecrated oil. Wax from the sacred candles. A dagger forged from titanium and a chalice which held the sacred blood of Christ. Oh, you got that? And this is just a fucking gun. I'll take that. Yeah, that's probably the best choice. Also, uh, can we talk about how just, you know, nobody bothered to ask how he got the Holy Grail? He yeah. just got that? He just has, has that? It. Also, that means Jesus has proved real. We're just going to whiz on by this? So as we reach the climax, Stefan finally confronts Sturba. Demons and powers of adversity bound and held subject to his will. We meet again. For the last time. Powers of the Avatar, come, my beloved Stefan. Let us take our fill of love. In the name of God. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I don't know what the use of showing that guy's face was. Okay, now a dragon's oh, coming out of it. What Ugh. the Hopefully hell? Hopefully the Christmas episode isn't this weird. So the curse is reversed. Sturba is killed, and Ben and Jenny get out unscathed to live happily ever after. Or do they? Trick or treat! Goblin, shoot it! Hell of a costume, kid. <laughs> Strange looking child. Jenny, for the last time, I told you, it's, it's Halloween, they dress up, it's just a thing. You know what, forget it. You're, you're a sweet kid, just don't worry about it. Good evening. We're your neighbors, uh, your child just knocked on our door. My child, but I have no child. Would you come in? A little later. I hope so. I hope so. I think compared to that, I would have preferred my neighbor was a werewolf. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the sister's still trapped in the crypt, screaming, screaming forever as a werewolf because no one laid her to rest. Just thought I'd point that out. Okay, now here's the credit sequence, and I don't know if I can accurately impart how ridiculous this is. So over the credits, they use the song from the beginning, and I've not edited this at all. This is how it is. To the beat of the music, they loop this woman, Sybil Danning, ripping her shirt off in the scene from earlier 17 times. To the what? beat of the music. Hallelujah! There is a God after all. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
what can you really say, huh? Sometimes you just want to share your art with the world. Just want to share some lady's tits you hired 17 times in a row with the world. That's the scariest shit I've seen all year. Happy Halloween, everyone, and thank you for watching. Is this ours? Can I break this? Hello? Yeah, you, you suck! There you have that. I don't even know. I don't know what I was expecting, but it definitely wasn't that. Um... Yeah, I don't even know. Yeah. It was it was really bad, but Dude, the topless women was just eighties movies yes. that were sometimes PG thirteen, but after yes. that, if it was past PG thirteen, it was You're like every movie from nineteen eighty five to like nineteen ninety five that was going to be in the movie. Yeah. If it was rated R, I feel like that to was going to be in the movie. for this movie, it's just like, okay, you just got to show your tits. Yeah. You just got to. Yeah. But I mean, it was just like, I guess they decided if it was already going to be R rated, let's push that R rating. We got it. Because language was enough to get you there. Right. And so was violence. And it Might was as well like. suck everybody in with the boobies. If if you're going to get R rating anyway at that point, just let it fly, I guess. Well, they had to make up for it somehow being an absolute shitty, like the lead yeah. actors in this movie, like just bad. the clips that he was showing, you could tell Christopher Lee, right. the other actors, like why were they even right. there? Right, like the, the main... Um, the actor and the actress. Yes. Yeah. Like, and, and they were talking so weird. Yeah. Oh, hold me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's just like, even when we're like alone and just being like, you know, baby Stupid, talking yeah. at each other and stuff like people do <laughs> with their animals and stuff, it still didn't sound like that. It sounded like they were trying Forced so hard try. to not try hard. Right. That they were just not doing just anything. Just really shitty acting. Yeah, I mean, was... I know nothing about acting. I could not be an actress. But I think I could do a better job than that. I've acted quite a bit. Yes. And I've done a lot of stage work. Uh, very little film. But at the same time, acting is kind of like playing pretend in a way that's not obvious. You have to convince yourself that the shit you're doing is real. Yeah. And a lot of people have an issue with that, it seems. Just like immersing themselves in that, in the role, or... They're trying to show something instead of just doing it. it and doing it. Just doing it. They're trying to be a good actor or actress. Instead of trying to be a good whatever it is they're supposed to be trying to do. Right. Instead of like, what would this person do? Instead of what would I do if I was pretending to be that? Right. Right. And, and so that's why you could see whenever Christopher Lee was talking in that initial monologue or whatever, when he was saying like, you know, that he went off into his own little thing he was connecting to something he right. was making himself feel what that character would say and like god damn if you were actually chasing werewolves or running from them yeah the thought of it would be able to remove you from right now right right you right. could drift off into that kind of thought you know especially with it being real and shit like that i mean it'd be enough to ca you get caught up on it and John Tron, even in a funny video, was like, yeah, check this out. Christopher Lee doing his fucking thing. And then it was just such a stark contrast to that. Yeah. And what are we here for? Well, I'll take that. No, what, what, oh. what, what was it when they were running in the woods? She asked him a question. And he was like, yeah. Yeah. I don't even know. But yeah. And like when they got like intimate or whatever you could so tell awkward. well she was trying to go just let's just go all in and just do this with this scene and he was like well I don't, I don't, oh yep i guess you know and, and i wonder if it's just like that's got to be uncomfortable yeah with like this whole production team and all this shit around but that that's what you signed up for. You know what you got to do. And it wasn't like a sex scene. No. You know? But at the same time, for something that would be uncomfortable, 
do it right. Just do just it. Just do it. And then that it's way you don't over. Have to do it so many times. Yeah. Or... Why would you want to to take something like that and and just? I mean, maybe that was the best take. Maybe she just started doing that the first time, and he was like, oh. <laughs> So I mean, you don't. We don't know. We don't. Know. All I know is that it was very fucking awkward. It was very awkward. And then they were like The Godfather. And I'm like, I haven't watched that movie. So then that was just weird to me too, because I'm like, I haven't seen that. I don't yeah. know. Uh, I thought the the bathtub and werewolf tripod thing <laughs> was brilliant. The bathrooms looked exactly the same. He would. He did a great job yeah. with that. Yeah. Um. And when he was walking around in the city. And everything in the beginning, when he was doing his opening, he was mm-hmm. walking around and stuff. I was thinking, like, how lucky he is to have fucking, you know, New York City to oh, film I think in about and that just all go the time. out. He can just go in places in New York and film. There and was, like, um, fuck. One of the we last can't go videos, anywhere here. I mean, of, unless you wanted trees are here. Yeah. You know? One of the last videos that we watched, um, he did like a little skit out and got someone involved and was mm-hmm. like asking them how to get somewhere like mm-hmm. the directions and i'm thinking like we would never there's not that many people like no you know then i kind of thought where um he was like oh transylvania and i'm like did they just do this so they could like get a travel budget so they could <laughs> oh, yeah. go somewhere else to film yeah who knows vacation time who knows oh oh yeah yeah the the vampire thing yes the, the the garlic in yeah. Transylvania. What the fuck? And... I've never. What I mean for the uh, the Transylvania thing is whatever you know that mythology is there. I'm sure, but it's like I don't know the garlic and the wooden stake and all that. I have never heard for werewolves. No. The werewolf boobs and being all sexual and stuff. And I was like, I have never seen werewolves depicted as like super sexual beings. Vampires. Yes. Yes. But it's like they just turned vampire werewolves into vampires. For Pretty this much, movie. yeah. And I guess that's all. The silver bullets, the only thing. Silver is all I've ever heard for werewolves. Yeah, me too. That's it. They had the fucking everything but Jesus Christ Himself to throw at at the werewolves to attack them. It's very weird. But I don't know. Good John Tron video though. Fucking hilarious as always. Christopher Lee doing his thing as hard as he could. He must have gotten paid pretty well oh, to, yeah. to do this. Dude, they or, should have paid him just for the club scene alone millions of dollars. Oh my God, the club scene. I just can't unsee that now. You should Because when ever. I think of him, I just think of like him as like an older man. I've never watched Dracula. So I like only imagine him as him as like old man, mm-hmm. you know, just. Right. Yeah. He kind of started acting late in his life and then just never stopped. Oh. Yeah. But him with those sunglasses on, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Pretty dope. Pretty dope. Pretty funny. Thank you, John Tron. You made a great video. If you guys have not subscribed to John Tron's yes. channel, you should do that. If you haven't gone and watched a bunch of his badass videos, you definitely should. Go do yourself a favor. Watch some John Tron. It's fucking hilarious. And if ones. you enjoyed our reaction to this video, you could give us a like. Yeah. You could subscribe to our channel. Well, you could even suggest videos for us to react to in the future. Yeah. You can do that in the comments below or on our Discord. We're going to have a link to that in the description as well as John Tron's original video. And we go live every Monday and Thursday evening at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we have an awesome Discord community. As Nikki said, yes. there will be a link to that down in the description. You can join us and have lots of fun with us. We even do a community game night, which mm-hmm. will be the last Thursday of each month. And Check it out. And recommend games for us to play for community game night. Um, and if you want to play along with us, you can join that in the Discord. That's true. But uh, for this video, I think that's going to do it. it. Appreciate y'all.